So first thing you want to do is listen to the sound file. Um, uh, I've also included in the uh, with the files I've included a key for you guys. I've transcribed all of these words uh, first in the Sampa uh, drive format and the IPA. So at first you guys don't. I want you to just focus on making sure you can see where each sound starts and each and uh, you know focus on correctly marking the uh, acoustic boundaries between the different sounds in each in each utterance. Okay, so so, so we can focus in here further. Uh, Prenasalized voiced velar stop. So mm, so this is an angma right here. So um, to put this the sample format li uh, lexeme initial, then we we'll put the and we have this, that, this is this marks the pre-nasalization. Um, this is all in the reference sheet that I gave you. Um, so here, here's a little issue. It so if you look up here um, with the the nga. Uh, so the fact that I have this uh, slash right here, it for some reason Pratt. It has it won't let me change the the format and it's gonna not show the next character but as you can see right here this ah uh, is actually there so don't worry about it because it's gonna show up in the text produced from this so this it's a, it's not actually the text grid and the sound file yeah uh, which we're looking at right now that matters it's more so the output and the time references that the the, the text grid demarcates so then you look here. This is a this is a low tone. Actually, this whole word is low tones. So mark L. Let's back out. And so um, I should point this out. Uh, one thing that uh, you're gonna pay close attention to uh, is the you know focus in on the actual uh, spectrogram. And um, this way, you'll be able to see where one start sound starts and one sound ends. Um, as you get more familiar, uh, you might already know some of this, and even if you don't, you'll learn. For example, uh, this is a uh, you know this is the nasal part, and you can usually tell a nasal very clearly by the, the nasal formant down here. And uh, so you can see the velar that it's velar by up here. Here's a little pinch up here, and um, then the g, this is the stop burst right here, and this is going to be something you'll be you'll get more familiar with. And you can see, so the the ah vowel starts to be produced right here. So we can mark this right here as the beginning of the ah, but the beginning of the consonant, the nga, the pre-nasalized uh, velar voice feeler stop right here so they overlap and this is the burst section right here and you can see right there all right and this is why I have multiple tiers is because you can't separate line by line you can't just use one tier and if you do um, as unfortunately has been the case the sounds overlap you have to adapt to that and so you have to be able to accurately mark each sound no matter if it's overlapping or not okay so here so go all out. Nga. And one way you can also see if you're right is listen. Nga. And so if you keep hearing the ah after this, then you're gonna know that you didn't extend it or whatnot. But we marked it right right here. Zoom in. Ah, it's a long ah. And so for the tone here, so we marked the tone boundaries. Um, we always mark it starting after the vowel over which it's realized. Um, we usually cut off like the first little bit of it. This is because of the tone samples are usually not uh, reliable. Sometimes it might be, but it's best to get rid of them because it's a way of eliminating possible misleading data. 
So here, uh, this is low, so we're just going to mark it with an L. Um, here's a stop. Oh. And then again, we could, let's zoom in here. Here's, here's that stop burst again, like I showed in the first one. Okay. And uh, you can see these, here's the, the waves of each sound, and so you can look up here and over here. Um, sometimes the spectrogram itself might be a little misleading, especially with certain voice qualities. Uh, it's actually a little too long. It's more back here. Yeah. Okay, this also is low. And here, uh, this is a good example. Uh, this sound right here is a good example of what we find a lot in Mishtech. And you can not is uh, kind of variation between a, a hard velar stop and a fricative, kind of in between a stop and fricative. They will vary. So, yeah. so you see that? So it, the voicing is gone. Do go even though it is a voice stop um, to go. and it starts about here at least for non sonorant consonants it's not as imperative to have perfect perfectly delineated boundaries because it stops you just look at the stop burst and um, and then the voicing quality and uh, there's not really too much else that we need to look at to go here and then demarcate the tone low and let's finish the sample here and here's this and that is a low and then LF lexeme final um, let's go back here and putting the file name here will allow us to immediately see the file name after the sample transcription. So A B V again zero two. And we need to add this S P K R J S. So this is done for this file. And we go continue.